The Green Party met for its annual conference in Belfast yesterday calling for a public inquiry into the city airport's plans for a runway extension, urging greater protection for badgers and hares and, of course, making more than the odd jibe at the Environment Minister, Sammy Wilson. With green issues rarely out of the news, why has the party not done better at the polls? Gareth Gordon went along to find out. Even Greens too young to vote know that transport matters. And much passion was aroused over plans for a runway extension at Belfast City Airport. Paragraph 2. Sammy Wilson. I quote, outrageous views on climate change. Stupid. <laughs> um, Sammy, can we have a public inquiry? <laughs> a motion calling for a public inquiry over the runway plan received popular support, as did the award of what the party called a stupid certificate to the airport's chief executive. The problem for the local Greens is that while they are making progress electorally, it's still just a little bit too slow. The task now is to turn some of the ideology into something which will persuade more people to vote for them. No one knows that better than the one man who has managed to get himself elected to the Assembly as a Green. I think the Green movement has developed in the last 30 years. I mean, there's, we still have got the uh, tree huggers and basically the instincts of the tree huggers are still fundamental to the Green Party, but we've got to adapt them to the political situation and basically the political situation at the present time is, is extremely important and the new Green Deal, uh, which we are looking pushing for, the green economy, I mean this is the way forward and there's quite a lot of original ideas coming through. Delegates were told that the government alone could not be relied upon to fund a greener future. Unless we cut, play an economic role where there's a bank or a central place that People like us can go and say we want to invest in solar panels, we want to invest in whatever, whatever, and the money's there, we will not get it. Britain's broke at the moment. I don't know where we're going to get this money from to do all this stuff. So we're going to have to try and get it ourselves somewhere along the line. I've had quite a bit of experience in the Middle East, and I'm going to say a word that's going to make you cringe. Islamic. There is... They have Islamic banks that go by morals and ethics. Every customer that goes in is looked at an individual. If they don't like you, if you don't weigh up to it, you're right. Maybe we should look at that. Ordinary politicians just basically say, you know, vote for us because we're better than the last lot. And that's been happening for a very long time. What the Greens are in touch with is something that's been developing particularly over my lifetime and which is basically we're in big trouble and we've got to change things. One thing they've got to change is their low vote at the last European election. Their candidate this time round believes he can. Ever since actually the election of Brian Wilson um, in the Assembly, the party's really professionalised itself. You know, I, I think, you know, Bran always says how before we used to have to chase the media and now the media are chasing us and Bran's hiding under the table. Um, you know, so our message is being heard a lot more than it, than it used to be and that was always our biggest problem. The Irish Green Party leader is also the Republic's Environment Minister. He was asked what he made of his northern counterpart. Sammy and I disagree on the question of uh, climate change. Uh, I met with him recently in Dublin. It was a very cordial meeting and we agreed to disagree on the question of, of climate change. Uh, he's fully entitled to his view, as am I, but I think it's fair to say that uh, the consensus now among scientists is that uh, climate change is happening and that it is caused by man-made activities. Someday the Green Party hopes to be as big in the north as it is in the south. These people know that journey may be a long one.